Remember the AI profile pictures that everyone was posting about last year? What if I told you that Lenza, the AI business behind this idea, made 10 million dollars in one week using a software that is entirely free for everyone to use. The good news is that AI is still relatively a new market and there's tons of apps that could be created and make millions of dollars. So in this video, I will share with you seven AI startup ideas that would make Mr. Wonderful go she shut the door. All of the ideas I'll be talking about will be ranked on the difficulty of making, the potential profit, and the time to build. That way you can pick the idea that you like the most. And starting with number one, we have AI interior design which is already a fairly well-known idea, mainly because of the viral videos on social media. However, there's still plenty of room for more niche applications that have to do with AI interior design. For example, one of them being AI interior design assistant. Let's say you want to redesign your kitchen or your bathroom or your bedroom, but you want to check out how the products would look like before you actually buy them. So AI interior design assistant could have two core features, one of them being real-time AR furniture placement. Meaning, let's say you want to buy a lamp for your nightstand. You get on the app and you can simply scroll through different lamps and see how it would look like on your nightstand. Another feature would be AI space analysis. Let's say you're getting a new bed or a new wardrobe. You want to see how exactly it would look and fit into your room. So you scan the room and check the dimensions of each product seeing it on your camera screen exactly how it would fit. The simple idea on the use of AI in fitness would be to create a AI coach, but the problem is that there's many people doing that already and the usage statistics are showing that it's not doing very well because it's quite a monopolized market. There's this one company that's been doing it since 2017 and it's more of an add-on for apps that have to do with workouts rather than a fully AI workout app. However, this app could complete two things that are very crucial to every gym owner. What do gym owners want to do? They want to get new clients and prevent them from canceling their gym membership. Here's where this app steps in. You can analyze a member's behavior to identify those who are at risk of canceling their membership. And think about it, there's so many gyms all over the world, so this is a big market and you're striking at an issue that is core to their functioning. Up until now, in order to predict who will cancel their membership, it requires a lot of numbers crunching. It's part of a job that the business has to pay for. However, if you can make the AI do all the work, you just pay a subscription fee that is significantly less than paying an employee an hourly rate. Okay, but then how does the app actually solve the issue? Well, here's the thing. Other than crunching the numbers and figuring out who's most likely to cancel their membership, it could also automate the process of sending out the emails that would offer deals and prevent them from canceling their membership. Next up, we have Ethical Eating Guide. According to Nielsen report, around 73% of global consumers are willing to change their consumption habits to reduce their environmental impact. However, how do you know how harmful these products are to the environment? It requires a lot of research for each independent thing you would buy in order to find out how harmful it really is. This is where this AI app could step in. So there's already apps that kind of do a similar thing. You've probably seen those apps where you can scan a product and it will tell you their nutritional value, the calories, all this good stuff. So basically what this could do is you could scan any product and find out how environmentally friendly it is. Creating an app like this would be quite complex in terms of collecting the food databases and AI recommendation systems, but it can totally be done. This is a huge market and I think the potential for profit is really big here. Next up is AI Outfit Manager. So imagine if you could scan your entire wardrobe into your phone and then have AI recommend you different outfits based on your inspirations or just how you feel that day. Core features of an app like this could include 3D body scan integration where you can 3D scan your body and see how different clothes would look on you. 
wardrobe digitization where as I said you could scan all of your clothes and have them ready so you could put them on your avatar and see how out each outfit would look like. Personalized outfit suggestions. Based on the body scan and wardrobe contest, the AI could suggest daily outfits. This could factor in the user's schedule, weather conditions and even color co coordination. Style inspiration input, as I said, it could input style inspirations from celebrities, movies, fashion styles and then generate outfit ideas that align with these inspirations. And then for additional features, it could have shopping recommendations, integration with online retailers and other stuff. Trying them on digitally. Next up, we have AI budgeting assistant. This one could be a bit tougher because of the complexity of financial data analysis and personalized budget creation. But I think the demand is quite big and uh, so the returns might be crazy. This AI could analyze the user's income, expenses, financial goals and create a personalized budget. It can adapt to changes in the user's financial situation, ensuring that the budget always reflects the current needs. It could also identify areas where a user may be overspending and suggest adjustments to stay within the budget. Another key feature would be financial goal setting and tracking. Users can set financial goals such as saving for a vacation or paying off debt. And moving on to the next tab, we have AI work at home assistant. And let's be honest, you know if you've ever worked from home that it's not the easiest to stay on track and not get distracted. So here's where the app steps in. The app could take care of stuff like task management and prioritization. The assistant can help manage daily tasks, set priorities, remind users of deadlines, and integrate with existing task management tools and calendars like Notion or Google calendars. Meeting scheduling and management, it could schedule meetings based on participants availability, set reminders and even prepare agendas. It could also manage your emails and prioritize the most important ones. Imagine an AI tool that could determine if your startup idea is the next big thing. The AI startup helper could do just that. Evaluating ideas based on innovativeness, market trends and competition. It could also assist with building a roadmap in order for you to achieve success. Okay, but how do you monetize it? Revenue could come from subscription plans tailored to different stages of startup development, from ideation to market entry. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing if you like the content and I will see you in the next one.